Hi, Jason here. In this video, I will be explaining why the Vampire Hunter Engineer is the best trophy store item in the game. But Jason, what about Grim Farmer, BMC Monkey City, and Monkey Names? No, shut up, shut up, shut up. Hear me out. So the Overclock is a very good tower. It is very useful in 2 Mega Pops Chimps, it's useful for buffing Grandmaster Ninja or Perma Spike in Chimps mode, and it's useful for boosting your Monkeyopolis. So what I'm basically saying is that the Overclock is a tower that we use oftenly. But there is one thing I hate, hate, hate about Overclock, and that is the third tier stepping zone upgrade, the Cleansing Foam. Now this guy is literally the worst thing in existence. First of all, it does literally nothing. Like what, it decamos, it de-regrows, it pops lead balloons, it places random so it's not even reliable. Secondly, it makes a mess, a gloppy white mess. It's worse than kelp drops, it's worse than acid pool, and at least those two upgrades are avoidable. Thirdly, you just gotta endure it. The range for this guy is huge. Unlike kelp drops or acid pool, it still attacks even while your NG is focused on the balloon. And to top it all off, this attack sees over walls. And you know what the worst part is? The obnoxious sound that the sky makes. God fucking damn it, it's so loud you can literally hear it through a VTSG. So the Vampire Hunter Engineer comes with three key features. Number one being the tiny wooden stakes it shoots instead of pins. Number two being those nice little coffins. And number three, number three, the godsend garlic. This changes the spawn of the devil cleansing foam into nice little patches of garlic, along with a new sound effect that, you know what, doesn't become the only thing you hear. Like obviously this doesn't fix the entire issue, like it still looks shit, but oh my god, some fucking peace and quiet at last!